Good morning, modern steaders. How cold is it this morning? Really cold. Really cold. Seven below zero Fahrenheit again. Oh, I didn't think today was supposed to be this cold. I think it's supposed to get in the 20s today. That'll be nice, huh? Yeah. That'll feel like a heat wave, won't it? Yeah. yeah. You ready to go to school? I guess so. You guess so? Hopefully it's warm there. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's just two stars. Good morning, guys. Give me some extra feed to help warm you up today. Yeah. When it's cold like this, I like to up the animals' feed by almost half. That way it'll help keep them warm and generate more body heat for them. Let's hope Gina's car wants to start this morning. Been sitting over the weekend and it's cold. Oh, good, it did. The truck's been running a good 20 minutes and the windshield's still not defrosted. Burr. It's cold out, but the birds still need to eat. Everything in my body saying, stay in the truck where it's warm. I think we've got some pretty cool scenery we need to go check out. Trees just covered in frost.
sure is cold, but you don't get to see views like this every day. My nose hairs are starting to freeze. Oh man, that's when you know it's really cold out. Now it's time to go back to the truck. <laughs> Too cold. It's cold, it's cold. Oh. Oh, it's cold out. I was not dressed for that. I was just coming out to town for a minute. Not to play outside in the cold. <sighs> I think I'm a glutton for punishment. I didn't dress for this, but it's pretty beautiful. We gotta go outside and check out some more of the scenery. Just got my dress shoes on too, guys. Look at all the ice. I keep trying to get in my truck and leave, but I keep seeing more and more beautiful frozen water flowing. It's cold. Gotta call it quits for now. <laughs> While my fingers up. Oh, that feels so good. You ready to go in now, mister? I think we could use some more wood. them some extra feed today. 
You guys enjoying the heat of the wood stove? Go! Wonder how Moose and his ladies did last night in this cold temps. Morning, girls. Moose, got you some extra feed. There. Looks like they knocked down one of their roosting poles. I see one egg. Are they hiding any more? Yep, two right there. So we got three. Three so far. Nice. Whoa. Grab that one. There we go. Is that good? Pluto ain't wasting no time getting back to the house. I had to milk Willow early this morning. So it was pretty dark out when I did that. And I left them in the barn. Gonna go check on them. Let them out, it's warmed up. Ah, good, probably 15 degrees already. Sun's out. They're gonna enjoy warming up in the sun. I've noticed that, and it's really cold out. They're lying under here. I'm thinking it must stay warmer with the top being right there. You girls want to come out? Or you want me to leave the barn door shut? You coming out? You got some hay over here still. Yeah, look. Oh, big stretch. Good morning. Oh, yeah. Does that sun feel good? I'm gonna frost it up goatee again, girl. And you got frost all over you. Good morning. Yeah. Here we shut the door. That sun feels good. Go ahead. You gotta watch out one way or another. Move your feet. There you go. a whole chicken in the oven for dinner tonight. We're gonna cook up one of the pasture-raised chickens that we raised and butchered here on the homestead. Find if we pat it dry, get most of the moisture off, we get a really nice crispy skin. I'm gonna take a couple of cloves of garlic. cavity of the bird. I'm gonna roast that up. And right inside, I'm gonna break two stalks of celery. Hopefully I can get both of them in there. Yeah. 
Honey. There was some good crackers. Yeah. yeah, we did a good job making them yesterday. Pluto wants one too. She says, oh, but they look so good. Take some butter and drizzle it all over the bird. Trying to cover every little nook and cranny that we can. While the butter is still warm, let's even put a little, just a little bit of salt. Let's see if we can dress this bird up a little bit more. We'll tuck its wings under, fold them under, like so. There. Makes it look a little bit more presentable. <laughs> Show that to you. Might as well have fun while you're cooking. You ready to go check on the goats and get some eggs? Yes. All right. Pluto, are you coming out? Or are you playing? Come on. Now you want to go? I'm surprised he's not meowing for you to put him down. It's like, I'm out of here, see ya. Eat all your hay. Look at that nice sunset, Livies. You want to give them the hay? Sunset sure is beautiful. What do you think? Yeah. It's like a heat wave since this morning. We had 11 below and now it's like 24 degrees out. What's that? 35 degree swing? I'll take it. Oh, that still didn't work. You still fell again? You can. <laughs> nice. <sighs> Hello. before we went out to the goats. Maybe I'll save it for their night snack tonight.
barn. Looks so pretty out there, the way the sun's setting. Look at that pink sky. I like cooking our potatoes in the instant pot. We cook them whole for about 12 minutes. And I can stick them inside our ricer. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you're probably going, that's a different looking one. Gina didn't like the old one. It had chipping paint on it, so we ordered a stainless steel one. And then once the potatoes are cooked, you don't gotta peel them. Just squeeze them. Take the skin out. So simple. Some salt and a whole lot of milk. I'm gonna try some of the skin. You shouldn't, because then you're gonna want more. It's good. Oh, you got a new sweater sent to you. Put a stand up. Buttons. Fancy. Here, girl. Stand up. And then you got to go in there. And then you got to like hold the collar. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Oh, you're all fancy. Aww. Now we can do a haircut again. Okay. <laughs> oh, I hope you guys enjoyed the little walk about on the frozen tundra today. That was just some beautiful scenery. I couldn't resist stopping. And I didn't want to just save all those images for myself. I wanted to share it with y'all. I mean, ugh, when it's cold like that, it is cold. My nose hairs were freezing so quickly. My fingers and my toes, I wasn't dressed for it, but it was just so beautiful. And it's not very often which I'm thankful for, that we get those temperatures. So it's not very often that we get to see that beauty. And I know a lot of you don't live near where it gets this cold, so I just thought you'd, uh, you'd really like it. I just had so much fun. One thing I just wanna encourage you guys is, no matter what is going on, look for the beauty in everything. Just stop, like today was so cold, but that river was so beautiful amidst the cold weather. So one thing I like to do sometimes, if I can't find the beauty in something, if I'm in a down mood, I'll try to walk around, I'll either pretend I'm taking a photo, or I'll take my phone out and I'll take like a photo for Instagram, and I'll just try to, try to capture something in a photo. And I think when you do that, sometimes it just makes stuff look so much more beautiful. And then it just kind of sets my mood right. So always be looking for the beauty in everything it's always there sometimes we just need to change our thinking and our perspective and the day gets so much better whether you guys are starting your day today or you're ending your day just be positive and start the day or finish the day off right if you finish it off right you're gonna wake up tomorrow a 
in such a better mood. So thanks you all for coming along on our journey with us. You truly are a blessing to our family. Pluto is going to love that new sweater. So I wanted to thank you who sent that up. And we'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.